And in this case study, we've got a male patient, 15 years old, unemployed, with a history of bipolar disorder. He just spent over 5,000 uh, pounds on scientific instruments. He believes he's on a mission to solve the full crisis. Uh, and he presents to the hospital with a speech that is very rapid and difficult to understand. All right, so what are the treatment options in this case? So first of all, we should understand, even though we have a diagnosis, which is the bipolar disorder, which is in line with the symptoms that we've got, it seems like it's under no control, uh, we should understand what is the organic cause for it to be not in control again. So after accessing everything, we will understand that the patient just stopped taking the lithium a few months ago because he felt alright. So now we can understand better why does the patient uh, seems to be presenting like a maniac uh, episode. So basically he stopped the lithium and the lithium is a drug that is given normally as a mood stabilizer for bipolar disorder and he has stopped. So what should we do now? At the moment it's very important maybe to agree with the patient on an alternative antipsychotic drug in order to control the manic episode and then it will be agreed with the patient that he would do olazapine 50 mg once a day. Then after controlling the mania uh, part of it, after everything is controlled, we should think with the patient another prophylactic treatment and in further consultation we'll agree with the patient to reintroduce again the lithium because it's quite a good drug in order to prevent in any other situation where the bipolar disorder gets not controlled. If you are enjoying this video just subscribe to the channel and give it a like. So later on, once the maniac symptoms are under control, we should try to uh, agree with the patient a prophylactic treatment. So not another episode of mania happens as likely. So we will agree with the patient after understanding why he has stopped the lithium to restart the lithium. And to restart the lithium we should do this with a low dosage, normally it's around 400 mg and following 7 days it should be taken a blood test, so basically 12 hours of taking the dosage in order to access the lithium level and this lithium level should be ideally around 0.6 millimoles per liter and then according to the result we will adjust it to uh, reach this optimal value and normally in adults uh, 6 100 mg dosage is equivalent to a 0.6 millimoles per liter lithium level. On one of our previous videos, I'll link it in there, we have talked that the lithium contains a narrow therapeutic window, so lithium toxicity can happen and it's like a safety problem, so we should really instruct our patient on this and also give him written information if needed on what are the signs and symptoms of lithium which is also on previous video and also how to manage and we should encourage the patient to keep doing regular blood tests to access the lithium and also do other blood tests in order to access the kidney and thyroid levels so we keep it under control. Regarding dolanzapine, once the patient feels more settled, we can start decreasing the dosage of olanzapine in order to discontinue this medication. This should be done really slowly and can take some several weeks, but it should be agreed with the patient. And also the doctor might want to give a supply of this same medicine or like a sedative benzodiazepine in case in the future the patient may present any breakthrough symptoms of bipolar disorder like this time so he feels like he's better in control of it obviously always with the doctor's supervision and doctor advice alongside